Welcome back, everybody. All right. So um, I want to go ahead and let's redo some of the things that we've done in the last tutorial because it's a really important uh, concept here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste it a couple times. Now, if you want to go ahead and type them out too, it's actually really good to type it out. But if you want to copy and paste it, that's up to you too. Now, um, what we'll do is instead of my cool function, we're just going to call this function one and um, we'll also call this function two and I'm going to spell them out here um, and then we're going to go function three just like this okay so you'll notice here that we have this is a button this is a button this is a button what we can do here is we'll just copy this out and what we'll do is we'll just do one and then we'll do two and then we'll do three okay and um, we have to make sure there we go so now we have one two and three of course none of these work and why is the reason why is this, this first button not work anymore is because when we click this button it's looking for function one right it's not looking for my cool function it's looking for function one in fact if we changed any of these to my cool function uh, it would actually work. So if we change this to function one, guess what? When you click this, it says awesome. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this uh, a couple times, just like this. And uh, we'll call this function two. And we'll call this function three. Okay. And so if we click any of these here, we, we know that they say awesome. And then um, you can see that uh, it's a, you know, prevent this dialogue from coming up. That's a safety feature. You know, if you've, you've ever gone to any kind of site and it gives you a pop up, um, at least that was exploited 10, 15 years ago. And the reason is, is there's now something in there. So let's go ahead and let's go. Uh, we're just going to type in one, two and three. Okay, and there we go. So uh, button one, we'll call function one, which will in turn pop up one. Button two, we'll call function two, and we'll pop up two. And button three, we'll call function three and pop up three. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Okay, and if you really wanted to have fun, you can call this four, right? If you really wanted to, but let's just make it three. All right, and so you can see that this can scale to whatever we want here. We can have 100 buttons. Uh, we can do whatever we want here. Now, of course, functions can do more than just pop up, uh, pop ups here, and I'll talk a little bit about that in the next tutorial. I just wanted to uh, reinforce what we learned in the last tutorial, and I wanted to show you that we can scale it as well. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.